Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of accessory spleen or splenanculus. A 30 years old male patient came for routine abdominal ultrasound examination. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the ultrasound scan of the spleen. The spleen's height, shape and echogenicity look normal. If you look at carefully at the hilar region, you can see an oval homogeneous well-defined structure, echogenicity of which is same as adjacent spleen. This tiny structure is accessory spleen or splenanculus. If you magnify the image, you can see the structure is capsulated and located adjacent to the splenic hilum. If you put color Doppler, you can see very tiny blood vessels are giving supply to the structure and these vessels are getting originated from the adjacent splenic hilar vessels. So this structure is the splenanculus or accessory spleen. Here is the picture of the capsulated well-defined structure, echogenicity of which is same as adjacent spleen at the splenic hilar region. The structure measures about 12 mm into 10 mm. No other abnormality is seen here. So in summary, a well-defined oval homogeneous capsulated structure isoechoic to adjacent splenic parenchyma is noted adjacent to the splenic hilum. Color Doppler shows supplying vessels are getting originated from the splenic hilar vessels. So the diagnosis is splenanculus or accessory spleen. Now the take-home message. Splenanculus may make confusion with splenic hilar lymphadenopathy. Differences in clinical features, echogenicity, and vascularity may help exclude lymphadenopathy. Patient with splenanculus comes asymptomatic. The echogenicity is same as the splenic parenchyma, whereas in case of lymph node, it might be hypoechoic or it may come as a reactive lymphadenopathy with peripheral hypoechogenicity and the central medullary echogenicity. Splenanculus gets supply from the adjacent splenic hilar vessels, whereas in case of lymphadenopathy, the vascular supply may change along with some change in vascular resistive index, which has typical type for lymph nodes. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.